Hello, Gemini. It's me, Christy, with Abundant Healing and Wellness. Welcome. I'm so excited to be here for you. So the readings have been going absolutely amazing. Uh, just to let you know, what I have done is I did do the intuitive tarot. However, I've been working diligently on some more divination tools and ways to give you guidance. Not just information, but tools on how to heal instead of just saying, hey, you need to heal. So that's what I bring for you today, Gemini. And I just want you to know that when I did the pre-shuffle on your reading, I am not kidding you. Every card or every deck, there were cards flying out. So Source has a lot of information for you coming in. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, Dorian Virtue Angel Oracle deck. So this is for Gemini for the first week in Taurus season, which is the 21st through the 28th. So I'm so excited, guys. Let's see what the angels have for you. First and foremost, too, I'd like to thank all of you for liking, following, and subscribing to my channel. And please do, if you haven't already and you're a new follower, uh, that way it helps my channel grow. Again, this is Christy with Abundant Healing and Wellness. So let's go ahead and begin, Gemini, and see what the angels have for you. All right. And one of these times I'm going to have to talk about what's behind me. It's my vision board, but it's actually a really great story. So after your reading, maybe I'll share that with you. So let's go ahead and see, angels, what would you what would like for Gemini to know right out of the gate? They have two. Do you want both? Absolutely. Oh, Gemini, you have been on fire. Shanti. The angel of peace is coming in. Absolutely. I am the angel of peace, and I bring you new tranquility and smoother roads ahead. Shanti. The angel of peace. Oh my gosh, Gemini. I knew that Source had a lot to say to you. Because they, I'm mean, not kidding you. The cards were literally just flying out of the, uh, out of the decks. All right, and your second card for, so that's, that's what they want you to know. That's their message. And the energy, energy that's coming in for you. And then your next card is Bethany. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today such as a massage, a sea salt bath, or a pedicure. So there you go, Bethany. So that's that's what Source wants you to know. It sounds like they're giving you the advice first, but it also, I feel like, uh, I feel like you have been pushing really hard on mastering your goals and being, um, oh, disciplined is what I'm feeling. Yeah, they're saying disciplined and uh, Sources saying that you really deserve a lot of abundance, that you have really uh, gone the distance, Gemini. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. They're uh, very, okay. They're very excited for you. Oh, Gemini. Mm, you have a treat here. You have Sonia. She is the angel of uh, messages. She says, I bring you a message from a deceased loved one, and I am happy at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, now I'm getting a lot of energy off of this one. And remember, this is for the collective, so this isn't going to resonate with everyone. However, there's a feminine, a matriarchal, matriarchal, uh, that is coming in and giving you a message. She wants you to know that she's there with you and she's got your back. Oh, that's interesting. She says she's very proud of you. She says she didn't show it when she was around, but she's very proud of you. Yeah, Gemini. That's a beautiful message from uh, a passed on loved one. That's interesting. Okay, so again, I'm feeling this very strong uh, that you have been bust and chop. And obviously the angels agree because as I said, they came in to let you know that. And then you have this beautiful matriarchal energy that's coming in to say, hey, I'm proud of you. I didn't tell you when I was here as much as I should have, but I'm proud of you. 
So Gemini, gosh, something amazing is about ready to happen for you, Gemini. Oh, I'm sort of excited. It gave me actual tingles. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get clarifiers from the Stephen uh, Farmer Spirit Animal Guide cards. All right, Gemini, are you ready? So I love this deck. Uh, it's actually, I've had the Angel Tarot for about 20 years, and I've had the Stephen Farmer one for about 15 years. And they're just beautiful cards. I love the images on the back. So beautiful. So let's go ahead and see what the first clarifier is for Shanti. Spirit, what would you, wow, see Gemini, I'm telling you. What would you like for Gemini to know? Yeah. Ah, it says, trust your instincts to discern the truth in the situation. It's the shark. Oh, you've been working really hard, and I feel like you have, like, a lot of compassion and forgiveness, but Source is making me feel very much so like, uh, you need to trust yourself a lot more, but it's almost as though you're being too kind. I'm getting a very strong sense that you're being too kind in a situation and that you need to trust your instincts. All right, so let's go ahead and see what your next clarifier is on the uh, Bethany card, which came in really quick to let you know that you need to take care of yourself. So ancestors, shamans, guides, thank you so much for all that you do for us and our guidance. We ask for clarity and wisdom and love and light. Thank you so much. What information would you like to tell Gemini today, Spirit? What image? Or, excuse me, what uh, information do you have for Gemini? Oh, I have gotten chills this entire reading. What is going on for you, Gemini? You've got some magic coming in. I think you've been manifesting. What would you like for Gemini to know? Spirit, what would you like for Gemini to know? Ancestors, spirit guides, Yahweh. What's at the bottom of the deck? What do you not see coming? Oh, you got the same one that Taurus did. It's your, you need to take some time to rest. Yeah, they clarified this with the Bethany card right here. This is definitely for here. Let's see what's behind that. Again, it's a healing coming in. We've got a story going here. All right, at the creative writing, this is exactly the same as uh, Taurus had on those. Oh, and here we go. Stand up for yourself. Didn't I just say that? That I was feeling that someone, you were being too nice to someone. Absolutely. So spirit wants you to definitely know that. And uh, upside down. Oh, you had the camel upside down. Okay. And the camel is, uh, it says, trust that you have the resources within you already. <clears throat> and to, to cover the challenges that you have before you. However, it came upside down. So I feel very much as though this situation here, I'm going to put this right here. The situation here where you're being too nice to someone, Gemini, you need to be real with yourself and accept the situation as it is and stop trying to change it because they're draining your energy and you're starting to doubt yourself. So, uh, okay, they're asking me to pull one more card. One more card, please, to clarify on the camel upside down. You do have all of everything that you need. It's just that your confidence level is down because this person seems to be draining you. What else would you like for Gemini to know, please, Spirit? Clarifying on the camel card, please. Oof. Clarifying on the camel. Thank you, Spirit. <sighs> Gemini. Mm -mm -mm. I'm excited for you. The rattlesnake, the experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation to fulfilling your purpose as a healer. Oh, look at that, Gemini. Yeah, don't let this person drain your energy here. You're going through this deep healing, so you're a little bit more vulnerable than maybe normal, okay? So Source wants you to connect with your writing, but you have to be gentle on yourself. Take care of yourself. Take time away from people if necessary. Just to get yourself peace. Shanti's coming in to bring you more peace. You have your uh, your mass, or excuse me, your feminine matriarchal figure coming in with a message for you, letting you know that they're proud of you, okay? And then uh, the rattlesnake card, knowing that you're coming into an initiation or going through one for your uh, greater path. 
So you could see you've got a great about amount of healing, creativity coming in, and healing abilities. I really like this reading for you. All right, so let's go ahead and see what the fairies want for you to know. So this is the uh, Nancy Brown Fairy Wisdom Oracle, another fantastic deck. I've had this one for quite a while, too. I kind of tend to be more keen on the older decks. I don't know. I guess that's a, I'm more of a purist in the Oracle and Tarot decks. My Tarot deck is actually quite old. Um, so anyway, Gemini, excuse me, fairies, what would you like for Gemini to know for their highest good priest? Only love and light is allowed here. What would you like to clarify for them on the Shanti card? Fairies, what would you like for Gemini to know? Oh, they're giving me tingles. There's so much magic around you right now. Oh, I, oh yeah, I feel like there's like going to be, I don't know, just this huge explosion for you. Summer dragon. Oh yeah, summer dragon. I feel very much like, see how the dragon is gazing into the flower? This is almost to me, it feels very much like facing your dreams as though it's going to happen this summer and what you've been manifesting, you're going to be looking in the face and going, wow, I'm so grateful. It's so clean and simple. Absolutely. So again, you need to do your healing, but you've got some great things coming in for the summer. All right, let's go ahead and see what the fairies want you to know on the clarifying card for Bethany Gemini. So one card for Gemini, please, on Bethany clarifying clarifying fairies thank you so much only love and light is allowed here oh boy gemini they have so much to tell you it's like they're all trying to come out at different directions at times all right i have to pull that one ah ivy oh let me set these down for one second actually they say go ahead and set that down and i'm going to pull one more on, on the route on the uh the rattlesnake and the message from your passed on loved one, please. Fairies, what would you like for them to know on the passed on loved one messages? What would you like Gemini to know for their highest good, please? Oh, I'm getting chills again on the back of my arms. Okay. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we have here. Interesting. Okay. So this is what they want for me to tell you here. So what we have is Ivy that is covering Bethany. Now look at her. She's rebirthing. She's the maiden, right? She's got everything that she needs. She's all new and shiny and beautiful. It's an absolute butterfly coming out of the chrysalis. Look at that. And Ivy spreads too, doesn't it? which makes me instantly think about gossip. Source, source instantly is coming in with me and saying, uh, make sure that you're not spreading gossip. Don't be a part of it. You've got this healing going on. Step away from people that are causing you drama. I got that a second ago, that it was a little bit challenging for you to uh, stand up for what you believe in and accept a situation for what it was. And so now they're clearly saying, don't be a part of the gossip. You're going through rebirthing, and so you want to let go of that, because that's like old. That's old. You don't do that anymore. You don't do that anymore, Gemini. And Source wants me to also say that if you are party to the gossip, as in someone's gossiping about you, what somebody else thinks about you is none of your own business. So ignore it, because you don't want them to live rent free in your head. Uh, and then we have number 17 here clarifying for the message. It's the rescue card. Now what's interesting to me about this is that, okay, the rescued card. You've got this female on this horse with this prince, right? And it's a unicorn and it's a fairy tale. 
Now, a couple of things are coming through to me loud and clear. So you've got this message from your loved one that you're going through the initiation and that you have everything that you need here inside of you, right? You don't need to be rescued. You are the rescuer. This is the hero's journey. So that's also a mindset that you need to make sure and let go of because when you release that, your forever love will come into you. You are the one that rescues yourself. Ooh. Yeah, you have good things coming to you. That's an old energy. Go ahead and release that one. And someone else from the past is going to probably try and come in. However, it doesn't feel like something that um, will be for your highest good. Only you can discern what's best for you. So remember to re only take what resonates with you. However, this feels like it's all about you rescuing yourself. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of other cards. Uh, so part of the healing process, besides just giving you this and leaving you to figure it out all on your own, uh, Spirit has assisted me and guided me to do some other oracle readings. And so one is to guide you with a, a image and a word that will assist you in your growth that you can focus on during a meditation, okay? And so that is the uh, water crystal oracle deck here, all right? And each one of these has a different word on the back for you to focus on. And so Gemini, uh, we're going to ask for one meditation card from Source for you to focus on this week and meditate on so that you uh, can become grounded and connect with Source for your highest good. And only love and light is allowed here. Only love and light is allowed here. So Source, what would you like for Gemini, please, to know what focus would they be best suited for? Oh. All right, Gemini, here is your... Card. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that. And that is your image for your meditation this week. And the card, the word that they want you to think about when you're meditating on that is eternity. Eternity. So they're asking you to connect with your spirit guides and focus on that. And they're going to come in and give you messages, all right? So we'll put that right there in the center. I'm starting to run out of space here so we can't see them all. There we go. All right, and next we're going to pull one lesson for the week. So this is from the Raphael Kushner uh, deck of the 50 ways to stay in the present moment. And these are also ways that you can focus on a lesson for the week. And then uh, it will help you with your growth. All right, that's what this is all about. You hear the information, but what are you going to do with it? So I'm giving you guidance and things that you can do to help your overall wellness. These are things that I did also for, wow, for myself when I was going through my healing and uh, sources guided me to share these things with you so that you can um, come and connect with your spirit guides and become the best version of yourself. So Gemini, here is your image for the week on your lesson of the 50 ways to stay in the present moment and the the title is, When is Breath Your Best Friend? Breath. That's a good lesson right there, right? All right, it says, Remember when you were a child and adults told you to take a breath, to calm down and compose yourself. Sometimes such an approach works, but at other times it only represses whatever caused the upset in the first place, right? All right, it says, Breath becomes true best friend if you apply an almost opposite approach. Whenever you feel discomfort of any kind, physical or emotional, try breathing directly in, into and out of the specific location. So, for example, if you have like a pain in your shoulder, take a big deep breath in and hold it to the count of four. And release that pain from your shoulder. Visualize it going away with your breath. All right. And it says, let your inhale expand and uh, constrict it to the constricted areas. And let your exhale cleanse it of whatever has been stuck there. 
you'll be amazed at how much relief this simply simple practice provides. Absolutely. So I agree with that one. So it's all about breathing into the grief or the sadness. So example, if we're not going to be breathing into a physical uh, part of the body, maybe you're going to recognize that you have some confusion in your head about a situation. And so then therefore what you're going to do is you're going to take a big deep breath in and breathe into that confusion and ask for sources guidance and then release and say, I give this to my guides. It no longer serves me for my highest good. And you ask source and source will help guide you. So that's your lesson. Now we have two more cards to pull. And I'm super excited because as you know, I'm all about connecting with Gaia. As you can see my little platforms here, they're little cherry wood pieces. I'm very connected with source and Gaia and nature. And tree magic is amazing. And if you look at the spiritual meaning and strengths and qualities of trees, they can give you a lot of guidance. So Gemini, the tree that you have for this week to focus on and thinking of uh, shape-shifting and pulling in the qualities of the particular tree. Let's see what uh, tree comes in for you, Gemini. Spirit, one card for Gemini, please. We would like one guiding wisdom tree for the week please for gemini one guiding tree whoa all right okay let me set this one down what do we have here Ooh, the tamarack okay let me set that right there i'm gonna grab this other card all right so the tamarack tree beautiful okay so they say they grow to 50 to 80 feet so the tamarack tree and the number five of hearts. So this is like the five of cups. And we have five as a number of uh, divinity. Completion, right? You're, you're getting some good information coming in there. And you have the uh, fruition of the tamarack tree. So call in the wisdom and magic of the tamarack tree this week. Excuse me. <clears throat> and then we're going to pick one a uh, card from the Orissa uh, Tarot deck. This is a fantastic new deck that I have, and I absolutely love it. It's very powerful, and uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Source uh, Orissas, can we please have... <laughs> is that the same one? <laughs> okay, let me try that again. Jeff and I, I'm telling you, they have so much coming in here for you. Uh, all kinds of guidance and angels around you. One card, please, for Gemini. Arisa, what would you like for the Geminis to know this week? For their highest good, please. Only love and light is allowed here. Whoa, Nelly. All right, Source, thank you so much. Which one? Thank you. Okay. So, what they have for you. Ooh, Gemini, you have been manifesting. The lovers, the lovers, my darlings, the lovers, OMG, I love it, I love it, I love it, all right, so look at this, there's joy, there's dancing, see, she's got the maraca in her hand, this is awesome, so all about connecting with the masculine and feminine, this is beautiful, okay, so you have all this healing coming in, and uh, you've got your lessons for the week, and know that you're on the right path, because you've been manifesting, dears, and the lover card is coming in for you. So if you are in a relationship and you are happy, you are about to do some rekindling, so do something romantic. And if you are uh, looking for new love, it's coming right at you, darlings. You know how all of us collectively, Source is partnering up uh, light like couples so that we can illuminate and change the world and bring it into a more harmonious state so Gemini, good job, the lover card's coming in for you. Just uh, take some healing and uh, make sure that you say what you need to say, all right? So I'm sending you love and light from Christy and abundant healing and wellness as it is above is below. Namaste, guys. Bye-bye.